Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. So I'm going to do a spread on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine for August 28th, 2024. The first card I'm getting for Divine Feminine is the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel as though the Divine Feminine is integrating the shadow work she has done in order to be in her feminine energy. Now, she settles in her feminine energy. She feels much more about go with the flow. She is caring less about the external stimuli outside of her and more focus on going inward. And by regaining her peace and stability, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is um, unshakable when it comes to being triggered. She isn't as triggered as before, and this she counts as a win because the Divine Feminine was... Um, doubting whether she was as healed as she thought she was, but I feel as though the Divine Feminine is starting to see that what has happened throughout the entire year was meant to help her grow. It was meant to help her to release all that is false so that she can become who she's meant to be. And as the Divine Feminine is standing in her power, she feels more at ease with the process. With the eight of, um, Eight of Wands, I am seeing that the Divine Feminine is clearing a lot of communication blocks still. So as she um, clears her um, tendency to shut down when um, faced with conflict, she is starting to see in many ways she does um, drown out her voice. So there is a strong emphasis on a witch wound right now. So I am also know the fear of being seen and heard. So the Divine Feminine is seeing that she does not honor her truth like she thought she did. Did. So she is working on clearing those distortions so she can have healthy communication. So the Divine Feminine is also targeting her attraction style right now. And it could be disorganized, anxious, or even avoidant. But she's clearing that trauma and she's starting to see that in many ways she does sabotage um, healthy communication. Because she presumes that no one will understand her. So she is challenging that fallacy. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is letting go of those fears, could be's, what ifs, should have beens. She's letting go of all that um, needless regret. And she is jumping timelines right now. By letting go of the pain of the past, the Divine Feminine is moving forward into the future. And by moving into the state of receptivity and unconditional love, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is starting to trust more in the power of her heart. She's no longer trying to logic her way out of this um, journey. She's um, accepting um, everything that has happened was for her best and highest good. And this is what I get for Divine Feminine. So this is for Divine Masculine. The first card I'm seeing for Divine Masculine is Action. So Mercury Retrograde has come to um, be direct today. And I am seeing that the Divine Masculine is starting to move out of that energy of waiting, the energy of contemplation. He is determined to do action right now. So I feel as though the Divine Masculine is taking the initiative to move out of his karma situation, contact the Divine Feminine, or simply make a few um, adjustments in his life. He doesn't want to be um, tied down to thankless people to people who are users and manipulators he doesn't want to be unappreciated or taken for granted so i feel as though the divine masculine is coming to the uh, conclusion that he needs a clean house so he is doing everything he can to remove everything that is not in alignment with him i'm also seeing that the divine masculine is also taking the initiative to make that leap of faith toward the divine feminine with the magician in the mirror I am seeing a strong emphasis on self-worth for the Divine Masculine today. See, the Divine Masculine is seeing that he kept himself in the shadows. He watched the Divine Feminine from afar because he didn't feel enough. He thought it was he was protecting her, but then he's starting to see that he was only protecting himself. So as the Divine Masculine has this realization, he is seeing that he does need to make contact. And as well as the Divine Masculine is starting to... Um, pull down those barriers that prevent him from doing so. He has seen that he is the architect of this sep of this um these blockages that no one is to blame but himself. So by the divine master taking accountability for his um sabotage of the connection, I feel as though the divine masculine is starting to get clear on what to do. He's starting to see the things that he didn't want to see before because um it's causing a, a long overdue ego death. I feel as if the Divine Masculine is just, um, he just doesn't care anymore. He doesn't care about his self-image. He just cares about being himself. 
But the door to value, because he is putting such an emphasis on his self-worth, he is starting to feel braver and more confident about moving out of his karma situation. See, he knows he's not taken for, um, he's taken for granted. He knows that he's not appreciated. He has known this for quite some time. But it feels that the Divine Masculine is seeing that it's time. He's made so many excuses about why he should stay. But now he's seen he has to go. Because... If they really um, were his people, they wouldn't try to like hold him back. So I feel as if the Divine Masculine is just accepting that there's nothing he could do to change the situation. There's nothing he could do to um, cater um, to get them to like him. I feel as if the Divine Masculine is becoming much more comfortable with being disliked. He's becoming much more comfortable with being um, um, the outcast. And so as he clears that... Um, outcast trauma, I feel as though he's starting to, like, stand in his power. And that's what I get for Divine Masculine. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I post updates about Twin Flames every day. Um, I will see you another time. Namaste.